So my name is Rachel Macy. I head up business development and agency partnerships at TGI. And I'm joined by Chris, who is our head of product development for TGI. Um, and today we're really rather excited, I think, to talk to you about TGI Geo Affinity. So this is something we've been working on for a little while now. Um, it actually builds really nicely from the last session um, that Gary and Gemma just presented on new lenses to put on TGI to kind of get new, new use cases and, and new opportunities for applying TGI to our, to our clients. So, what is TGI Geo Affinities? Uh, at its very heart, it's essentially about taking TGI data and uh, using it at a postcode level, so a postcode district level. So taking TGI beyond what we can currently do within the database. Many of you in the room, geo will be a, a huge focus for you, um, not just those in the more kind of traditional areas of out of home, uh, but as we heard Sammy say today, um, geo is playing a huge part across all demand and supply side, looking to really kind of further enrich or, or target um, audiences on, on ID signals or geo signals as we increasingly move towards cookie deprecation. So um, today we're going to basically be doing a little run through of the product. Chris will do the science bit afterwards. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll basically take a, a topic which will be able to take you on a journey through so you can see how this product would work. Um, okay, so we're, we're starting here. This uh, platform, let me come stand here. Uh, the platform we're looking here, we've co-created with our modeling partners called Showware. So Showware have taken the TGI data, uh, made it available at that postcode district level, and put it into a highly visualized platform. So hopefully, I think you'll be looking at today is really kind of intuitive to engage with, and we've really tried to make it that simple. So if we take a, a worked example here of the FMCG archetypes that Tess mentioned earlier, we've preloaded all of those into the database at a census data level. So as you can see here, you've got the drop down of all of it, those FMCG segments that you can access. Um, it's worth saying we have preloaded the database with a number of TGI, um, a TGI taxonomy, but we are able to create custom segments as well. So if you want to take planning audiences or sales audiences, we can, we can create those for you. So looking here, we've got the, uh, the array of segments, as I say. Working through here, we can select our savvy shoppers segment. And you can begin to see here as it pulls through a really highly visualized map. So what we've done here is actually flicked from the Savvy Shoppers to the Bargain Hunter, so it's that simple to flick between the two. Uh, on the right-hand side of the page here, you'll see that we're not only delivering back a visual, but that visual can be of uh, reach, penetration, or affinity. Uh, the great thing about all of the data here is that the numbers true up to those of the audience sizes that you will see within the core TGI database. Uh, but obviously with the added uh, richness and resolution of looking at it at a postcode sector level. So if we flick now to our savvy shoppers, you can instantly see how quickly those maps change. So we're looking at a national level now, the, the segmentation. Uh, all of the data here, as I say, is mapped to the, the census level data. So we're not just restricted here by the number of sample that we have available within a certain postcode district. The data is, is weighted to that, um, uh, trued up to that census data, so you can be sure of a representativeness of the data that you're looking at. So we can not only look here at the, the national level, we can zoom in further. So if we were looking at the kind of city of York kind of area, uh, we can zoom in further. As I say, you can start to look here, um, really kind of scan in to the postcode district, which is something we've never been able to do with TGI before. And I can tell you in the years I've been here, I've been asked about it a lot. So that's why we're really quite excited to be able to deliver this now. So as I say, everything available here is um, reach, penetration, and also affinity. All of the data so it matches to TGI. And you can start then to compare which of these areas you should be kind of targeting in for plans. Where is the, the most efficient place to find those audiences that you're looking for? And then, of course, Insight on its own only goes so far. So all of this data is highly actionable and that uh, you can start to rank the postcodes for your target audience or demographic within the database. And then all of those, uh, all of those postcode districts are exportable for, for downstream activation, whether that be with geo or IP signal databases. So this is really, it looks like a very simplified kind of product and that's exactly our intention. We wanted to make an easily accessible product for those in the Insight community, but also those who are maybe more data novice with outside of our community 
to access the data at a postcode level and really connect that TGI thread from insight to, to activation. So I'm going to hand over to Chris now to tell you a little bit about how we made the data representative. So you'll be pleased to know that it, at this point on a hot afternoon, I'm not going to talk methodology for long, but we are really proud of a number of the statistical and the, the technical aspects that sit behind this solution. Um, so at a, a very simple level, the solution is driven by taking TGI data and by taking census data and combining those using actually a bundle of, of really leading edge geospatial techniques that, that today are really at the cutting edge of both human geography and also kind of physical geography. So as I said, it's, it's a hot afternoon, so I'm definitely not going to get into stochastic equations and, and what lies behind them. But as Rachel said, the kind of key takeaway here is that this isn't simply about delivering TGI data with an extra geo signal on top. This is about as faithfully as possible trying to create a view of TGI audiences and signals at a total census geographical level. Um, the, the other piece of sophistication in, in this system that we're proud of is actually at the level of the technology. So we've, we've worked with a partner called Showware based in France, who packaged all of those complex stats into a cloud-based solution. And really what it allows us to do is to take an audience very, very quickly go from an input, the savvy shoppers that, that we had as an example here, and with, within ours, get to an output in either tabular form or visual form that can work for you. And we think ultimately, you know, that's, that's the secret sauce here. It's that blend of both the rigor and the speed of this system that, that we hope is going to be impactful. Um, so we jump to the next slide, thank you. Um, so, kind of, does this sit in our, our wider TGI product portfolio? You know, I, I think for me, this is, is something that actually is very much part of, of what we've been trying to do for a number of years with the TGI product. And that's really engineering the ways to ensure that we can step from a TGI audience through to other connected data systems where you can understand more and take actions in as direct and as trustworthy a manner as, as possible. So you know, we want you to take an audience savvy shoppers. We want you to be able to go into the TGI Helix system and learn more about that audience. We want you to be able to go into this platform and learn something about the geographic resolution of the audience. Ultimately, we also want you to be able to step from what you see into any activation domain, whether that's identity-based or geo-based. Um, and I, I guess that what we bring to this ultimately is that combination of the data side, the combination of, of the data and the technical expertise to try to preserve that line of sight between a, a rich and complex audience that you derive from TGI and the domains where you ultimately want to take effective and differentiated action. And so just a, a, a final slide. I think as, as Rachel said, right, seeing this sort of geo mapping feels familiar, right? Feels quite intuitive. It's, it's something many of us are familiar with. But I, I hope as well you, you see the sort of the impact and the, the potential that sits in delivering data in this way today particularly as we start to think about those post-cookie challenges. So, you know, we've, we've been road testing this solution for some time. We've had some great alpha clients, some of whom are, are in this room today. And so we're really pleased to be at that juncture where we can take this out and, and socialize it more widely with this group. So we'll, we'll be talking about this both for our UK product but also for those of you dealing with our European or, or global data sets, we'll be talking about this more. And so we hope today acts as a, a good warm up, a, a good teaser into what we can deliver via GEO. So with that, I'm, I'm going to say thank you on behalf of both of us. I'm going to hand back one last time to Sarah, who's going to wrap up the session.
So thanks for listening.